So we want to think about a case study here. And this is a great case study because I grew up in Waterloo, and it's an exciting area of economic growth like, like Hamilton uh, as well. There's RIM and open text, and there's uh, has been able to create a lot of jobs in that region. As well, there's talent from the universities, and uh, like Waterloo, Laurier, and Conestoga College. What's really interesting about Waterloo is that it's got a great and vibrant farming community too. And the case study I want to talk about is Hurley's Farms. It's existed for decades, and my family used to buy their corn there. It's a phenomenal place to get farm. Fresh produce that's been locally produced as well. Now here's the problem. Hurley's farm isn't in Waterloo. It's about 15 to 20 minutes outside of Waterloo. And Hurley's would like to attract as many people from Waterloo to their farm to buy their produce. Here's the other problem. There's no shortage of great grocery stores in KW. You can drive to Loblaws or Zares or Sobeys and great, get great produce too. But I know what you're thinking. Hurley Syrah, it's a locally produced place. People are really into that. People are health conscious today. There's no problem. Hurley's Farms can get a lot of business just by being the local producer there. The other problem is, is that there's a ton of Mennonites in Mission Waterloo, and they are doing great things on their farms too. So even for the local farmer, there's a lot of competition out there. The problem is that they're going up against is that how do they get people to come to their farm, differentiate themselves from their competition, and, and set themselves apart from the bigger players in the market too. So when I talked to Trevor Hurley Braun, who's one of the proud owners of Hurley's Markets, he said about a year and a half ago, he started hearing a lot about this Twitter thing. And he asked friends in the tech sector what it's all about. And they simply told him that it's a fantastic tool to stay in touch with some of his best customers. And Trevor thought, okay, cool, I'm going to give this a shot. And he dove right into it. His Twitter pro pro profile description is Trevor tweets from the tractor, the field, the market, to keep you connected with the early family. And then he has a small link to his website. So I thought this was a really cool example because um, he uses Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook to connect with his customers and let them know about what's happening in the store. And he said to himself, you know, Sir, I think about engagement with the community and our customers. That's how I build relationships. And the question that I asked him was like, Trevor, how are you um, competing with the bigger players? I mean, we all get the snazzy looking Thursday morning flyer with all the pictures and all the discounts in it. As a locally produced farmer, how are you guys competing? And he says, it's the connection. It's the community that we create. I said, that's really cool. Using social media not only makes sure that people know about Hurley's promotions and discounts, but it also differentiates Hurley's from other local farmers and big grocery stores. People aren't just buying corn or squash from Hurley's, they're buying into Trevor Hurley's personality here. And they're, he's building an authentic connection with his customer base as well. To put this in perspective, Trevor only started using social media tools like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter in March 2010. So in about a year, he had about 2,000 followers. And of these 2,000 followers, I would even go further to say that they are not just suspects or prospects, but they are super clients of, of Trevor's. And whenever we want to, when we think about marketing, we want to transfer everybody that we know into a super client eventually, because these people are going to buy from you again and again, and they're going to tell all their friends about it. And if you get, get to this level, that's the best type of advertising you can possibly get. Okay, so the first thing that Trevor did, he did three things to really grow his Twitter following and to get really great traction on Twitter. When he first joined, he thought about all the organizations that he was involved with in the face-to-face -face world. Trevor was a member of Foodlink, he was a member of Communitech in Kitchener Waterloo, and he was also an active member of his church. First thing he did was add all the people that he knew in these external networks into the online world that he has now created. So the other thing that did, Trevor did was that he actively participated in social uh, media by making tweeting and posting a regular habit. Trevor says that you have to make participating on social networks a conscious effort. Do it on a daily basis, do it, do it regularly. 
Trevor's best friend is our is BlackBerry, actually. And we can all identify that. We've got these cool super phones, smartphones on our hips at all times, and it allows us to connect with social media at all times as well. So what he did was turn the downtime that he had on a truck or waiting for a shipment to come in to uptime in terms of engaging with his customer. And as entrepreneurs and business owners, we're all trying to figure out how to get two things done at once. This was a perfect example. Now what does Trevor tweet about? He tweets about just 